There's people up here. Hey, what's up, guys? Hi. Look at how cool this guy looks. His cloak. Oh, my gosh. That looks so awesome. All right. What is going on, everybody? My name is Notorious Crisco, and this is episode two of PAX Day. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment and leave it a like. It really is going to help me out on YouTube, getting more people to see these videos. If you have anything fun to talk about, tips or tricks, please leave them in the comment section below. And then, if you want to see any more PAX Day or just more videos by me in general, please go to my YouTube, Notorious Crisco. Hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell icon. That way you're updated anytime that I post a new video. But last we left off, we had just uh, created a plot. Um, I also met the neighbors, which is super cool. Um, they seem to be like good people. Um, they didn't murder me or anything like that. So um, hopefully we can uh, be good neighbors and hopefully uh, become friends and stuff. But what we need to do is get some freaking clothes. So I'm just out here looking for some deer or even uh, like a boar or even just rabbits, honestly. We just need some rough hides. Um, I'm not sure how to make the crafting table just yet. I must have just not picked something up or unlocked it somehow. Um, so hopefully we can do that um, just because I want to I wanna be able to make chests. Um, I, I made two chests from our neighbor. Oh, there it goes. Ah, ah, run away. Nope. Nope, not happening, boars. Unless you want to die. I really much rather just, uh, hey, strawberries. Yummy. Yummy, 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 yummy. Uh, I mean, we might have to just go for the boars, but they travel in packs of two or couples, I guess you'd say. Hey, come here, stupid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Die, you're gonna die. 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 Yes! Too easy, nerd. Where'd your friend go? Huh? Where'd your buddy go, guy? There you are, you stupid idiot. Come here. Come here. Come find me. You're gonna die. Yes! Awesome. Oh, they give wool fiber. That's really good. Come here, let's be let's be friends. AKA let me moita. It'd be really cool if I could throw this pointy stick at him. Come here. Ah, that's alright. Whatever. Hopefully we can just get this deer, maybe. Ah, ah, run, run, run. There you are. That's what I need. I need you guys. Come here. Come here, dummy. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. You can't outrun me, dude. Because you're gonna turn around right now. What an idiot. <laughs> there we go. Get that bit, too. Crafting. Founder's pack. Crafting table. There it is. Okay, we need wood beam. Got it, got it. All right, so we got some wooden beams, wooden pegs, and... Oh, we gotta get them out, duh. <laughs> I knew that, you silly goob. Give me the wooden beams. There we go. Now we got a crafty craft... Crafty McCrafferton table. Perfect. Awesome, awesome. So, now what can we do with you, eh? Okay, here we go. We got fletching tools. Don't really need that just yet. Basic tailoring tools would be good. Craft that. Then we'll craft this leather working stuff. Craft that bad boy, right, huh? Wooden winch. What is that for? Required to craft the basic leather working table. Stone pickaxe. Lar oh, nice. Okay. We can make a long wood stock. Let's do that real quick. Hey, a basic beehive. Look at that. We learned something. Now, what would we want to use that for, I wonder? Just to get honey? Now, I want that loom, baby. Give me the loom. Coarse leather string. Hold on, let's see. Let's go over to the leather making table then. Perfect. Got ourselves a tanning rack now. So we're one step closer to getting ourselves a loom, which is one step closer to getting ourselves some other stuff. No, it's not. Where is this? No, I need... Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait everybody wait. For the coarse leather string, I need rawhide. To get rawhide, what do I use? Rawhide. Large animal hide. Okay, we should have some of those. Eh? You gonna let me make it to make a string main? No, actually, I'm sorry. I want the rawhide, duh. I knew that. Good grief. Okay, fine. Fine, then we will make 10. How about that? Stupid game. Try, try to make me look stupid in front of my friends. Oh, we can make a stone pickaxe. Let's do that. Perfection. That's gonna be awesome. Hopefully we can get some iron here real soon. And make ourselves all the cool stuff. We need wooden pegs. Dang it. And then we will go back on the hunt for materialis. How about that? that sounds awesome, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know it does. Really don't need this torch. If we're being if we're being real honest here, I really don't need that torch. But I got it. So it is what it is. Alright, so before before we go out, let's just check this out one more time. So what do we need for all this? Cloth pen, sewing needles, we're good on those. Coarse linen string, coarse linen cloth. So we need lots of flax, right? We can get 
coarse leather string. So we just need to murder some animals. Let's go do it. Let's go murder the animals. And then we'll see, uh, we'll see if we need to do any kind of, and hopefully pick up flax as well. Then we will see if, um, if we can't, uh, uh, make ourselves some clothes. That's going to be really important. It'd be nice if we could find flax as well as clay. And then if we can use our pickaxe while we're out here, that'd be kind of fun, right? What is this? Clay, what do you know? Asking you shall receive, boys and girls. <laughs> Thank you, game. How very, very nice of you, man. I could use that. Thank you, please. Okay, we'll just do that like that. That's cool. So we can make little markers. I wonder how many of those we can keep on at, at any given point. Hey, there you are. Hello, guys. Time to die. You too, fella. Oh, you would run away. That's fine. I got your friends, and I'll be back to get you in just a second. Yeah. You're done for, fella. Come back here, jerk. I need you to make some clothes. Yeah, you want to fight too? I just murdered your buddy. Just so you know, you're done for, fella. You barely even hurt me, dude. Did he even hurt me? Oh, wow, that music is getting real intense. Oh my gosh. Feels like we just found like a boss. <laughs> Some dungeon boss. Where'd you go? Where are you? I hear you. Come back, I just want to talk to you. I just want to talk to you about your life. Ah, dang it. Your life in the woods. It must be real hard for you out here, huh? Oh, sorry. Why did you run right into my stick? It's a pointy stick. I should have, I should have warned him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dear. No, I'm not. Okay, so we're back home. We can make 11 of these large, rough animal hides. Good, 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 good. Oh, and that's going to take 15 minutes, for real. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, Santa Maria. Hey, we leveled up tailoring. Nice. All off of just trivial stuff, too. That's cool. Nice. We made ourselves a little wicker basket. That's great. That should... Does that hold food, I would assume, right? You're going to let me store food, Chiki, right? Put you... We'll tuck you in, like, right... There, how's that sound? Yeah, it sound pretty good, yeah? Okay, yeah, we'll just store food there for now. Awesome, our neighbor Titus is gonna give us some extra clothes. What a good guy. Wow, really? <laughs> what a good guy, that's so awesome. He gave us an iron pike. Wow, I'm so glad that I moved over here. I don't wanna be too much of a mo mooch, you know, but he's, he's being super generous. Yeah, let me do something to repay your kindness, dude. That's awesome, what a good guy. What a good guy, Titus, wow. He's, he's by far my best friend right now. Wow, look at how cool we look. Oh my gosh, he's so cool. I wanna be just like him when I grow up. <laughs> Across the river, I saw some nodes. All right, so it's been just a little bit. Uh, I went out and um, started getting a bunch of additional resources. Um, I also found some iron right here, which is super awesome. Um, Titus did say that it was across the street here. Oh, I keep calling it a street. Across the river. So went around, killed a bunch of boars and deer and all that fun stuff. Came up here, found some iron ore. So we got a little bit of it. Um, I think we have like 40. We have 56. Okay, so um, now what we're going to want to do, right? We're going to want to go to stone anvil, right? So we don't want to do that. We want to, what is it, crafting? And we have the anvil stone. It's it's gonna be this one then. <laughs> I'll figure it out. But anyways, while I'm looking for this stuff, I'm sorry, uh, I actually have myself muted for like the past 15 to 20 minutes um, like an idiot. So you guys are kind of missing um, a little bit of what I've done so far. Um, like I said, we went over there and killed a bunch of boars, deer, and fox, and we also killed a badger, which is pretty cool. And then uh, on top of that, we got a bunch of resources. So I'm just going to act like that never happened and we're never gonna talk about it again. Doesn't that sound good? Yeah, that sounds pretty good, right? I know, it's a great idea. We do have quite a bit of flax, so let's go ahead and make some goodies here. We want coarse linen string. May just keep your pants up. All right, we're gonna make five. Ooh, this will unlock a new recipe if we do this one. But that's very hard, so we're actually not gonna do that just yet. We need to get a little bit stronger, a little more better at the tailoring. All right, we got ourselves a loom. Look at this. How awesome are we? We're pretty freaking cool, I know. So what is that gonna open up for us now? Okay, so we can make coarse wool cloth. Ooh, a simple cloth cape. I kinda want a simple cloth cape. How do we make like a, a better film? Oh, basic furnace, perfect. Okay, that's what I thought. All right, perfect, here it is. Need some clay, some short wood stock. Understood, we can do that. Let's make some short wood stock real quick. Oh, we're missing by six. Dang it, we need more clay. Oh, is that another badger? Look at this. Yeah, see? Look. Badger. Deaded. He deaded. 
What an idiot. Here we go. Here's some clay. I knew there'd be some up here. Does that put us over our mark now? Yes. Okay, let's go back real quick. Splendid. Splendifidus. All right, got ourselves a basic furnace. Perfect. So now if we just go, oopsies, ah, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. What am I doing? Okay, so now if we just get, where's our iron? Our iron. Okay, here we go. So now if we put this into here, right, right, right. Charcoal. Oh, we need more charcoal. Dang it, we need tons of more charcoal. Okay, shoot. I hey, got another beehive. That's cool. Need 20 more. Okay, how are you doing over here? All right, ingot, please. And thank you. Sheesh, one whole hour, huh? My gosh. Enough sand. Where do you get sand from, I wonder? Oh my gosh. Would you guys look around here? Oh my goodness. Wow, guys. So it's a it's a day later. And look at this. Look at look at how every oh my gosh. Our whole area. Hey Titus. Hey buddy. Hello, my friend. What's up? Hello, welcome to the clan. Thank you. Um, okay, so we got a lot of work to do. Goodness sakes. I'll follow you, promise. If you promise to get me clay. <laughs> what a guy. Sweet. I'm glad that we joined a clan, man. We have friends now, everybody. Can you believe it? Notorious Crisco has friends. That's just, that's just so wild. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, nice. How awesome. Okay, so there's some right here. Nice. More clay over here. Wow, there's so much over here. Awesome, dude. Look at us. We're moving up in the world. Wow, look at this place. It's becoming so developed. This is so cool. Look at this place. There's a well here. Everybody's got like mailboxes and stuff. Oh man, and I got a pretty good spot when you really get down to brass tacks. Oh wow, I'm so excited. This is so great. Over here. Okay, okay, okay. I found you, promise. I found you. I found you, feller. Let's just take a look-see around here, huh? I can't believe this was made in a, almost a day. So it looks like he's using these campfires as like light bulbs, almost. That's a good idea. That's smart. Though he does have chandeliers up here. Huh. Wow, my neighbors are so cool, dude. To be honest, how do I look with this chain on? Better with or without the hat? Hmm? All right, we have quite a bit of work to do to catch up to everybody. My goodness, people are, people are doing great and wonderful things out here in these streets. I'll tell you that. Out here in the packs of day. Got some chain mail, so now we just need some shoes. Really? And then we can start going out and, you know, start in trouble. <laughs> but I think I want to focus on making ourselves a, a quaint little home, startup home. We took up that whole, we took up all of our four plots right over there by the, uh, by the river on, on both sides of the river. So hopefully uh, we can make something real cool like. I think we can. So I do remember there being some clay up over this way. So let's go ahead and head that way and hopefully find some. We got ourselves a little jerk bag here trying to fight. You want to fight? You're going to dead it. That's what you get. That's what you get, dude. I didn't want to do it, but you attacked me. Where is the clay? I know it was right over here, wasn't it? Uh, must have been picked up already, I would think. Yeah, it looks like the clay here is gone, ski. All right, that's fair enough, game. All right, so let's get out our handy dandy hammer and let's see what we can't make, eh? Construction. That is my plot, game. Wish we could fish. Not too bad, huh? That's a pretty cool dock, right? Right, it's a pretty cool dock, huh, promise? Nice. He likes he likes it. Titus, hello. Goodness sakes. Oh man, we're just getting so hooked up here, dude. You guys are way too nice. No kidding. Look, we got shoesies, boys and girls. Look at how cool we are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What's up? All right, let's go and look for some more clay, huh? Not today, boar. I'm super geared now. I'm super geared up, boars, you silly goobers. Suckers. All right, though well, that did take up some inventory, which is kind of a shame, but waste not, want not, is what my grandma always told me. We are not gonna waste that meat, that's for sure. Oh gosh, there's a bear. We need to get out of here. I'm not ready for bears, I don't think at least. I need to level up my stoof, dude. Sheesh, like I know that we're, we're Kind of geared up a little bit now with our chain mail, but I don't think I'm ready for a bear by myself even. Ah, dang it, there's wolves everywhere. Ah, you friggin' wolves, go away. I need clay. I need clay. I need clay so bad. Now, Promise did say that we could go and take some clay off of his porch, 
But I don't know. He's helped me way too much. Or she, I think it's a she. She's helped me way too much already. And so I don't know. I, I don't feel comfortable taking any more from her. Though I highly doubt she'd have any problem with it. I was really hoping I could just run, run across that, uh, that, uh, that cliffside and find a bunch of clay the whole way up like I was able to before. But then those stupid jerk idiots decided to be in the way. <sighs> There's wolves up there too, darn it. Die, you boars. You fiends. And give me your resources, jerks. Oh, look at this little spot. Oh, this is nice. That's really cool. I like that. See, I want to do something like this too. Where, like the bottom floor is kind of open to the elements and then the living space is upstairs. I think that's a really cool look. But as of right now, we just need to put up some temporary walls and a roof so we don't, you know, look terrible. Or maybe we do that like on the front side. Or maybe we do it on the back side. I'm not sure yet. Oh, no, no, no. No. No, run away, Chris. Run away. Run away, Chris. Dang it, they're right on the clay, too. I need that. They're not following. They are following me. Oh, good grief. Oh, good grief. I'm gonna die. Oh, gosh, no. Okay. They left us alone. Now let's go get that freaking clay and get out of Dodge. Get out of here. Oh, gosh, I hear him. Hurry up, Chris. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, look at all this clay right here. I can't hurry. I need all this. Where's that noise coming from, though? I don't see him. Let's see how our friend Promise is set up. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's cool. It's just straight up stone on the backside? Really? That would be slick. Hey, look. We got our first iron ingots, boys and girls. Wait, what? What's happened here? It's right there. I want that. What? What in the world? How, how come I haven't? What? Ugh, it's not letting me pick anything up. There we go. Now we can take out the iron. All right, we should have some more iron somewhere, right? Don't we? Don't we? Right? Right? Don't we? All right, so now we got some coarse yarn. Let's make a couple of those, I suppose. Get rid of the stuff in our inventory a bit, because, man, this is, uh... <laughs> as you can see, I have as much clay as you could ever possibly want right now inside of my inventory, really. But the thing is, I actually need way more. So here, let's, let's turn these into yarn balls real quick what's the difference between these two? Oh, that's impossible that's what's different but yeah so then once once we empty out our inventory a little bit i think i'm gonna make one more chest and then i'm going to get as much wood as i can possibly get um and then i think i am going to make the whole bottom level of our home just an open open space maybe i don't know i don't know i, th I really like that look i thought it was pretty cool whoever lived at that one spot been working on this for way too long right now <laughs> This last clay run was a lot more beneficial than any of the others have been. All right, got ourselves some yarn. Some of them dare yarn. What, what do I do with the yarn now? I turn it into something? Coarse wool cloth. Oh, wow, look at this. This is so cool, Titus. Oh, my gosh. Wow, man, that guy is good, huh? Wow, I want to make something this cool. I should go up one more level, shouldn't I? Yeah, I probably should. Oh, give me a break. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow, man. People are freaking nuts. They're making like a little courtyard. Are you kidding me with this? All right. So after hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of work, this is what I've come up with. All right. <laughs> I had to tear it down, put it back up, tear it down, put it back up. It was tons of fun. No, really, though. It was this is a this is such a cool game. I really enjoy this game. But uh, as you can see, Went with three levels here. Um, the bottom here is where our like our, our work area is going to be. Um, is what I was thinking about. Like we're gonna put our uh, you know our our kilns out here, and then the workbenches under here, um, and then oops oops okay there we oh I got it. Um, so this is wide open right here. Reason why is uh, I'm not level seven. Um, when I looked up on the interwebs, oh, I'm so freaking close, dude. Oh my goodness. When I looked up on the interwebs, uh, how to make a, the cottage door, it said you had to be up to uh, skill level seven. And even after all this work, I'm still not level seven. That's so crazy. And here we will do a lot of storage and such over in this area, try to stay a little more organized than I have been. Maybe maybe some other crafting tables or something along those lines down there. And then up here is where uh, we'll just be looking out. We're just gonna look out at the world. Look at how pretty. Oh my gosh, our little village is really turned into something so gorgeous. <laughs> Let's see, over here, I put a little, uh, a little walkout, lookout area. I thought that was kind of cool. I mean, just look at this view, man. 
Oh my gosh. Look at this freaking view. And it looks like these two are making like little, uh, what are those things called? Outposts or towers, you know, that you would see in a kingdom that protects the, uh, the waters from any kind of pirates and stuff. Um, and then out here, I put a little porch. Pretty, nice, pretty, pretty little porch. You can feel the sun. Oh, it's so beautiful out here. This is such an awesome game. I'm really having tons and tons of fun. Um, so uh, for anybody that's watching and is going to build, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put floors right here. In fact, can I do that right now as well? Can't make those either right now, but that's all right. We're gonna put uh, yeah, we're gonna put like floors right along here and try to sort of seam this up just a little better, um, make it feel uh, a little less tall. Unless I end up you know liking the the tall feel i'm not sure yet but anyways as i was gonna say for anybody that's building a home of their own in pax day it is very important for you to put the proper reinforcements okay um because if you're not you'll get up to your roofs and uh it won't let you put it up top without it breaking so from what i've realized and uh found out so you see how this is green right here oh, oh, oh don't break anything chris see how this is green that means that it's perfectly sturdy and then if we go up to like right here this says that it's basically under a lot of strain from the roof and so the the best idea for us would be to put a big post right there in the middle these guys here um right in the middle um to strengthen that up as i've done to this side otherwise like i said it's just going to be under too much stress and then it'll just continue to break um, but up here we'll we'll make this sort of like our living area possibly uh, that seems pretty solid to me Ugh. Ouch. And then uh, I do want to, um, if, if we go back over to our homie buddy, Titus's house, he has just done such a great job over here. I mean, it just, it's something to aim for when you're building. Like, look at this. Look at, look at how cool this is. Just the staircase alone. And he's got all of his kilns out here. What is that? What is that? A pottery kiln. Oh, I don't have one of those yet. Got his forge outside and such. So I think I'm going to make sort of like a landing like this on, on the outside of our house. Over over on that side of the house towards the, the river. But look at, look at how gorgeous this is. Like, how do I get those? I wonder if he installed... I think he might have installed those by himself. I think he might have done this here. Oh, sure enough he did. Wow, that's freaking clever. That looks so awesome. Oh, I've just, I'm gonna do that to our house as well because that is freaking just wonderful. And then look at what he's done here as like the bottoms. I don't know how he's done this so awesomely. Wow. Like he's got the wyvern. Man, his looks so awesome. That's how I want ours to look. Oh, we gotta break everything and bit <laughs> rebuild it. Just look at this. What is, oh, wow. That is so freaking impressive. What even is that? I don't know what that is. Long beam. So are all these just long beams? No way. Short beam. How did he do that? Man, just look at how gorgeous this looks. Oh my gosh. Once we get those thatch roofs, I think we'll, we're gonna redesign our area one more time. But yeah, then you come over this way. He's got more crafting stuff over here and like an out outdoor sort of area. Like this is one of the best houses that I've seen in Pax Day. And I've been all over the server. Um, he just he just freaking killed it. He did such a good job. Ours is nothing in comparison. But soon, soon we will have much mo better goodies for sure. A hundred percent we will be having a lot better buildings. But as of a startup, I think this is pretty sweet. You know, I can't complain too, too much. Um, next up, I do really want to go and start blacksmithing a lot more um, because I think that's going to be really fun. Over here in the, the city here, the village, which we'll run through and take a little look-see at how it's progressing today. Um, if you look around, it feels like we have like 20 plus people here, you know, which is really, really cool. And the whole goal of this little area is to make like a, a full on working ecosystem um, where like there's traders, blacksmiths, that blacksmith and stuff like that. And then we all work off trades. I think that'd be really, really cool. What would be even cooler is if the game or the developers made a currency system that we could then go and trade each other things. Um, or like creating really rare and difficult to make items like uh, the sword of holy uh, ultimate greatness uh, two mark two yeah and then you go and find the guy that's got that sword or is the best at making them and then you trade him either something that you're really good at or some currency that'd be really really cool there's so much potential in this game i mean just with it being only early access like it's pretty freaking sweet for a sandbox it's, it's 
Well, uh, it's pretty awesome, and we haven't even gotten into the meat of it yet, you know? Um, we haven't even gotten into the PvP or anything along those lines. Look at this. Look at this area. Wow. Look at all my friends. These are all my friends right here. Just look at how awesome these are. Like, oh, yeah. Everybody, I, I want to get these, uh, these planters here. I think those look really, really slick on the outside of your windows. I think that looks awesome. But we really need to get these cobble walls. Cobble walls will make things a little bit more together, as well as the thatch roofing. Ah, I'm getting excited. I'm so excited of this game. It's it's so cool. Look at this little whatever he's doing here, like a little lighthouse kind of thing or something. Even though he's way far in on the river, so it's not really a lighthouse, but you know what I mean. This is the house that I sort of pulled um, my my influence on for our house. Just the dock down there, which oh I didn't even oh I might have shown you guys the dock throughout the throughout the episode. We were hooked up quite a bit earlier by our our buddies uh, Promise as well as Titus. They really hooked us up with all level two chain gear and a uh, a better bow. I think uh, I can't remember what the bro bow is called. I have it on me. Hold on, I'll show you. I show you. Shoot, I show you. Look at this guy right here. Nope, this one right here. Yeah, here. You know what? I haven't even shot this thing yet. Here. Yeah. That is hard to do. Okay, you gotta be real good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that is so hard to do. Especially with my robe in the way. Yeah. Ah, forget it. You know what? <laughs> the bow might not be our strong suit. That's okay. We'll be better at something else. Something like uh, spears or maybe uh, one-handed weapons. Like, let's go to the skills here. So you can check out all the crafting goodies. We just looked at that a moment ago. We want to get our armor smithing and our weapon smithing up as much as possible. These three right here are going to be our money maker. And then everything else can sort of fall back um, behind it and just strengthen it up. But pole arms, I mean, look at how good we are. We're pretty freaking amazing at pole arms and hand spears. So we might want to just stay focused on that the only problem with hand spears is that they're two-handed weapons they're two-handed weapons so you can't wear a uh you know a, a, a shield to block things so that's kind of a bummer but you know we'll we'll advance as uh we start getting other things here that's why i really want to go and start blacksmithing as soon as possible armory and weapon smithing i think that's going to be just so much freaking fun i mean yeah you can you see it, it i mean it's cool right it's not too bad it's really not too bad, but it's no it's no Titus's house, I'll tell you that much. It's no Titus's house. But anyways, I think I'm going to call it here, folks. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me today. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please take a moment and leave it a like. It really does help me out on YouTube and get more people to see these videos. If you have anything fun to talk about, tips or tricks, please leave them in the comment section below. And then if you want to see any more PAX Day or just more videos by me in general, please go to my YouTube, Notorious Crisco. Hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell icon. That way you're updated anytime that I post a new video. But besides all that, thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate you. I truly love you. God bless you. And bye.